Well, for the last several weeks, we've been working our way uh, through Canada, through Banff and Jasper, and all the way up through Alberta and British Columbia, and into the Yukon Territory on our way to Alaska. Now, we're in Alaska now, but I wanted to uh, just make this quick video and share a pretty cool experience that we had in Dawson City on the route here to Alaska. Now Dawson City is uh, a pretty cool place to visit. You know, it's got a lot of really interesting history with the gold rush and it's just got a lot of cool people there as well. So we really enjoyed our time in Dawson City and even, you know, did the the sour toe cocktail, uh, which was kind of gross. One of the things that, uh, that we knew we'd encounter on our way up through there is the uh, Yukon River. There really is no way to get from Dawson City into Alaska heading west except by uh, crossing the Yukon River. The two uh, couples that we're traveling with have larger uh, diesel pusher motorhomes. We're all pulling cars and we get to this little uh, crossing area where the ferry is going to be because there's no other way to cross the river besides on this ferry, we weren't really sure how that was going to work. Now, you know, the Yukon River is flowing really fast at this point because there's a lot of snow melt and the river's running pretty high. So we noticed during our time there that they're constantly backfilling this, uh, this loading area uh, to account for the rising level of the river because of all this snow melt that's happening. Ow. Yeah, mosquitoes. <laughs> you know, they have these, this little eddy area which is a little calmer on the bank of the river and that's where the ferry would pull in to this little spot. Now they wouldn't throw a line on the shore or anything. They pretty much just use the engine to keep it pushed up against, um, against the shore while the vehicles uh, were loading. But once the vehicles are loaded and in this case, you know, the RV <laughs> is loaded with a few other vehicles they pull back from the uh, the side of this little eddy and then back up and then they just whip it around and get caught in the current of the river which looks a bit sketchy at first you know if anything were to happen to the uh, to the engine in that uh, in that ferry, it just seems like you just go <laughs> adios. Those ferry captains are pretty good, and they basically just fought the current of that river, kind of in this sideways motion, all the way across at a slight angle, until they kind of drifted back and got to the other side, and eventually, you know, we're able to backtrack again back up to uh, the spot where they're gonna pull in and unload the vehicles. We couldn't get more than one big RV on there at a time. So, you know, it was three separate ferry trips back and forth to get all three of us across the river. But eventually, it was our turn. So I'm getting ready to take the ferry, um, load the RV on a small ferry to cross the river here in Dawson City. I'm a little nervous. Here we go. Right, we're on the boat.
Alrighty. Thank you. Well now across the river we were on the side that we needed to be on in order to head back into the United States and into Alaska. Now that would take us over the top of the world highway which is all dirt and takes us through the mountains and ultimately back into the United States. But a very scenic drive in itself and surprisingly the dirt uh, highway there was actually pretty well maintained. It was a great experience uh, crossing the Yukon River and I just wanted to share that with you and I hope you enjoyed it, this little story. If you want to track more of our uh, trip into Alaska up through Canada, be sure to check out our Instagram. We've been posting a lot of stories and pictures from our trip there. But take it easy, hope you're having a great summer and I will see you in the next one.